Nadine, and welcome to Notable Quotables, where we spotlight your favorite moments from the Yogi MD podcast. Today, my guest is Anne Roche, talking about the episode, Manage Frustration with Orlando Bishop. Well, first of all, I, I love, I, I could listen to you and Orlando talking all day, every day. <laughs> I just loved it. <laughs> um, and I took so much out of it. I was to, I listened to it twice um, and I took notes um, and each time I got something out of it. But one of the things that you said that I really loved and that Orlando picked up on was the, uh, you used the word, um, the term frustrated, uh, familiar passenger for the word frustration. Um, and that, as as it did for Orlando, just really resonated <laughs> in a big way. <laughs> so for sure, a familiar passenger. Um, and I I loved I loved how we talked about anger because um, that that's quick for me as well. Um, and. It was so interesting because when I was listening to the interview the first time, I I kept I wrote down and I have it on my note and I kept circling it, the word ego, uh, because for me uh, that's the thing that always gets in my way. And I was really struck. I was really struck by that word the first time I was listening to the interview, or I was. The, the word ego is just really big for me in the back of my mind when I was listening to the interview and then it came up up in the front when we were when you were talking about frustration look look at that I said when we were talking about it because I was I, I was so involved in that conversation um and then and then the holding space you know what we do so well for our clients I too am a coach and what I do so well for my clients and not well at all for myself is hold space so when I was re-listening to the interview last night, I was, I was giving myself a little bit of grace around ego and around the, you know, the, um, the beating myself up of that familiar passenger frustration. And the timing, Nadine, was so perfect because <laughs> What I, what I took out of that interview, the first time I heard it was when I am frustrated, that is a sign that my ego is getting in the way. And so how can I hold space for exploring what my ego is, what that frustration is telling me? So taking the judgment out of it and saying, just as I do for my clients, and saying, what is your frustration telling you? What is that alerting you to? Getting curious about my frustration <laughs> in a way that I do for my clients and mm -hmm. never do for me, <laughs> mm -hmm. for me. Um, and so that recognition that I got from that, from that interview that the frustration was an, an alert to my ego um, or a an alert of my ego, right? And then to hold space for that to say, what is that teaching me? What is that telling me in this moment? How can I get curious about that? And then using that to then shift and pivot and when I was listening to that interview again last night, it was such perfect timing because I got this, uh, I got this, um, my, we're, we our, our third child <laughs> is um, uh, going into senior year of high school. And we are so behind in the college process. We are lucky enough to have a college process mm -hmm. for our third kid. And mm -hmm. my husband and I are so behind in it um, because he's our third kid and we are busy <laughs> with our mm -hmm. own stuff. And um, we are just very, very behind. 
And so I finally, um, I finally got somebody to help him with it. Cause again, we're insanely privileged and I'm able to even have that whole process and, and farm that out. Cause we are just like so behind. And I got an email. Um, I was, uh, just after I was listening to your interview with Orlando, I got an email that he had missed. My son had missed a meeting with this, uh, the college advisor were, were invested and we got this and then the balls are dropping and I'm embarrassed. And it was because I had just listened to that interview with you and Orlando that I was so frustrated at my son and I was so frustrated at my husband, the parent who's right there. And I was like, what is that telling me? Where is that alerting me to my ego? And there it was. I was embarrassed that I, you know, was not showing up as a involved parent. And I was embarrassed that I had, you know, um, dropped a ball and that I had, you know, was the mother of a child who could miss a meeting and not follow up and blah, blah, blah. Now, having said that, when I called my husband, I was maybe more muted than I would have been had I not checked my frustration, which is not to say that I wasn't frustrated, <laughs> but I was at least able to name that frustration. Mm -hmm. And I said to my husband, I'm embarrassed. So it was a layer that maybe I would not, I, that I for sure would not have um, had, had I not listened to that interview. So that was, that's not only what I took out of that interview, but also what I implemented in, in your invitation to what is the step you're going to take? It's, it's to, you know, what is this, what is this frustration telling me? And it's almost always ego.